Hello! Hello YouTube land! Are there 37 people there? We've got 74 on Facebook, so right now we've got about 100 people. We're trying to see if we can get to high to 300 people today. It's happening. We'll we got 200 last week, so we're, we're hoping that we. And it's hope YouTube behaves. I actually realized that it's uh, it's his. It was my phone. Yeah. Actually, you don't have that one plugged in, so maybe yes. we should go plug that phone in yes. just so that way we are completely charging. We don't want a phone to die or a battery to die mid show. Yes. Hello, Jana. Hello, all you YouTube people. Sandra D, we know you had some technical difficulties, and we realized that something had happened. We already talked to Lynn on. And we already Facebook. talked to Lynn on Facebook, yeah. so hopefully it's all good. We know you didn't do anything purposefully. Um, so, first thing we want to talk to you guys about is we are actually adding a, to our, our weekly drinking game. Yes. So, corn. Corn will always be corn. Corn will we, always be we corn. We will never so. be able to get rid of corn. But every week. Hey, we finally got through our bag of corn today. We cooked the yeah. last three urns. Yeah, and they're all gone now. Our all that ears. corn. Urns? Urns? Ears. Ears. Yeah. Ears. Urns. So, uh, so, what we decided is that every week now we're going to add an extra word to the drinking challenge. So, that means every time we say that word throughout the episode, you will have to take a sip of water. So that'll help us all keep hydrated. So what's the word this week, honey? Well, I don't know. What's the word this week, people? Any guesses? Any guesses, Any guesses in the chat? Anybody want to guess what the word is? Track. The word is track and tracking. That's exactly it. Yep. Every time we say the word of the week, so this will be every week going forward. Oprah would have been a funny one too. Yeah, Oprah yeah. would have been a funny one too. But, but it is tracking. It is tracking. So every or time track. our track. So every time we say that word today, take a sip of water, and that's how we'll get keep hydrated. Mm -hmm. So let's get. Uh, so the first thing we kind of wanted to talk to you about was we wanted to show you guys some pictures we've, we've, well, been, we've looking, been going through looking a lot back. Of pictures. We've been going through a lot of pictures in our memory box that we created, and there's a video about that. And it's kind of interesting to see these pictures, and these are pictures of actually when we first met. Yeah. Very early on in our relationship. And this was very early on, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. So this is us in the beginning. So here's some pictures of us when we first met. So I'll switch them over here. So we're just showing you guys these pictures just to kind of guys can see a bit through our history. Because when we always tell people and that we've always had weight issues, people always want proof. So every week we're gonna, we keep showing proof because that's the way, you know, this is us again. And this was actually really early in Montreal. We had gone on a trip with Nick's mom and dad. Yeah. This is the first trip I had ever gone on with them. And it was a, a road trip. It was a car trip. They brought me all to their favorite restaurants. And I'll be honest, we did not eat the best at that time. Nope. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. We went to Woodlands. And we yeah. had their pizza and their fettuccine and their salad and their carbonara. Oh, we ate everything. We ate everything, we ate everything, 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 yeah. everything, everything. That's who we were back then. That's and then we had snacks in the hotel room. We oh, had yeah. chips and gummies. It was crazy. It yeah. was really insane. Yeah. Like that just made me think of Our that. lives when we used to travel relied, we revolved around food. food. It was always around yeah. food. We always like, where are we going to eat next? What snacks do we need to have in our room? Whereas even last time we went, it was like, no, it was not even a first thought anymore. <laughs> Your sister says, to be fair, when you are at Woodland, you've you got to eat. You, do, you do, do, but we would probably eat a very differently now. We yes. would not eat the same way. We no. still have the same foods, but smaller portions. Yeah, and then and share. Split. So we get a small pizza. Small instead pizza. Of bigger, instead of big, yeah, and we, we share get everything. A small pizza. Um, bambino. Yeah, yeah I think a Bambino would yeah, even be better, better, actually. Yeah, yeah but I heard that place might not be open anymore. No, it is open. Oh, they fixed yeah. all the issues? Yes, they did. Okay. Good, good, good. So that's what I just want to show. And something else that's a recent development is that we'll have be doing another haircut video, but this time I'll be cutting Jean Luc's hair. So he finally agreed to it earlier today, and he said, "Oh, I might just let John and Nick just shave my head." We were talking to my mom on, on our iPad before uh, we Someone went live. Someone knows about Woodland Pizza. It is. It's it amazing. is amazing it's pizza. So good. So we were talking to my mom at dinner, and she said, Jean was like, oh, I think I'm just gonna get Nick to shave my head off. And I was like, why won't you let me even try to give you a haircut? Like, if I mess up, at least I can shave it off anyways. And he's like, okay. So Jean Luc is letting me attempt cutting his hair. Yep. So we we're gonna film it just like we filmed mine. So we'll see what I'm happens. Gonna, I might be going bald. Yes. I so, might have a buzz cut. Yeah, no flow B, it'll be, I'll try to no. do my, I'll do the zoop, zoop like I was saying. Yay, Chantel gets to see one live. Yay. And some, someone by the name of her, Veronica says, hey guys, you guys are awesome. Uh, well, thank, thank you so you much, Veronica. Veronica. Thank you. Me some world Where together. are you from, if you don't mind us asking? Yeah. Put in the chat below yeah. if, you don't, if you can. Yeah, so that's, so that's uh, happening. So yes. we're going to be filming that sometime this week. We don't know, probably tomorrow. We're going to be filming a lot tomorrow because we're also doing a new series, which we'll be talking about later. 
Um, first, well, if we film it tomorrow, you have to release that video tomorrow. Yeah, it yeah, will yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, be. the next time they see me, yeah, it will be. I'll That's have no hair. Yeah, or hair. Yeah. Or who knows? So the first uh, thing we'll uh, update you guys about is our weigh-in. So we talked about it yesterday at our weekly workshop. Yep. So I weighed in at 180.6. I was up 0.9, uh, so up a bit this week. I, overall, I've lost 108.4. But what's kind of insane is that we actually, I actually asked Jean-Luc to check his weight from January 1st to now, what was the difference? And I've actually been down, I'm down 9.2 from January 1st. So no matter and what- we were the, up at January. Yeah, yeah, so no matter what the roller coaster was along the last few months, I'm still down from what I was on January 1st. So I'm still doing good overall, so. Yeah, and, then, and I'm at, I weighed in at 183.4, so I'm up 1.5 this week. Um, a total down, a total shed of 92.7. But since January 1st, once again, looking things in perspective, because we've really decided to start looking at the big picture of things yeah. now. I'm down 11 pounds exactly since January. I was at 194 pounds in January. Yeah. Like that really mind, that really makes me think now. I was like, wow. Yeah. And it's not just that, we've been able to put clothes on that we've not been, like I wore shorts today that were not fitting me a few weeks ago. There's a lot of things that are starting to change again. And like we've told everyone, we, our scale was doing up downs constantly. We didn't notice the points no. add up throughout all, and we ha we went way up, back up again. You know, we we rolled close the entire way. But if you look at the full journey, we're still overall now nine point two. Yeah, and we also put, released that graphic last week where we showed you guys the last year what, what our graph did, which was a lot of this. But if you looked at our actual full journey, it was like a full like waterfall of, mm -hmm. of change. So you always have to zoom out and look at your whole journey. Well, we we feel it's not even that we. Feel it's so weird. It's the feeling that we have right yeah, now. Yeah. And even though I'll be honest, last night we didn't track very well after a few drinks, and then today's been a Vic very was bad. a little tipsier. We had two very bad days. That we're gonna be honest with you. Like we made some really cool choices. We made a new thing today. Okay. Oh my god, it was delicious. for lunch. We made. We'll share. We'll share. We'll oh yeah, we'll share. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah but we could tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you remember I was telling you Nick's mom made the uh, lunch subs. subs, but instead of using. Um, a bread she used a lettuce leaf and we did it today and it was, it was amazing. amazing so we will do a recipe for that it was so good it actually felt like we were having the subs yeah. but again i'm loving this lettuce instead of brand we will things. release a recipe on this and i know bev is watching out here and she keeps saying we will do more recipes guys we're not it's stopping coming. it's coming it's just that we're trying to see we're, we don't want to release too, too many recipes at once because it tires us out. So we were trying to we're, see, we're trying to see how to... No, 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 we're going with the flow. Yeah, we're going you with know the what flow. I, we, we, we really get on to kicks of doing certain videos and it, it, it when we start cooking again, it will be because we're in the mood to yeah. start cooking again. Exactly. We just haven't gotten that kick yet. Yeah. So weekly recap. So we worked out every day. Yep. Uh, you guys worked out with us. So yep. thank you for those of you who joined us. I know Debbie's watching right now. I know she joined us every day. Um, we also did... Um, some uh, a body or some crazy fit on videos oh from my the WW app. Okay, first my of all, hip oh my god, were killing me for days after we did that one. Yeah, those and then that the guy from Survivor, Survivor that did the yoga hit like class. Who would ever thought of yoga and hit? And together? I won't lie, I looked for hard classes. I knew yeah. where we were in our fitness level that I knew we could push ourselves, and I I I always do and that for both of us. We don't want to tell. Okay. I also want to say something. We're not doing this because we're trying to show off or anything no. like this. But we really need to challenge ourselves yes. as well. Yes. And we are being honest. We're sharing our workout time with all of you, right? Yeah. So this is when we're working out. We can't. We don't have enough time in the day to do another workout to do a higher intensity workout right yeah. now. Yeah. So right now, we, we do apologize if you guys feel that you're not able to follow. But there's always something you can do. So if we're doing a hard version, try to think of a, 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 an easier way of walk doing it. Walk in place. Yeah, walk in place. Yeah. Walk in place or do squats or yeah. do lunges or, you know, do other things that can modify the, the variation. Yeah. Or but not modify, modify the exercise, I should say. Yeah. Uh, we visited some workshops throughout the week, so I'll lay them off. We visited a lot this week. So we did Nanaimo, Moncton, Winnipeg, Downtown Ottawa, Mississauga West, Abbotsford, Brantford, Windsor, Tecumseh, Lone Gay, Edmonton South, Charlotte, North Carolina, Oshawa, and Montreal. So that was all during the week. Uh, Tuesday, we had our video yes. for um, WWE Snaps. We had our video, yes, exactly. That we filmed months, like weeks ago. Uh-huh. But... Oh no, that wasn't WWE was Snaps. I told... I knew that was... No, right. no. that was... That, that I had written the, the WWE Lifers tip. 
But that wasn't there. I never touched that. Okay, one. so it was love your life first, what we released this week. Sorry, that was what we really uh, WWE life first tips is what came out this week, and we also joined Connect US uh, for the first. We time. did, and it was crazy. It yeah. went by like we were we were uh, trending on Connect. Yeah, in the and US. their trending in the US is insane compared yeah. to what it is. In, like, and I don't want to do a comparison because there's way more people in the US, so yeah. it's obvious that happens. But it's just. Funny to see how these numbers go up so quickly because of the amount of people they have. Yeah, so it was great. So if you ever, if you're on US Connect, just look for us. It's at the WB Gaze, and you can find us on US Connect now and actually interact with us and follow us. Mm -hmm. Um, on just like this, and that's what that's not there. there. Yeah. So then on Friday we did a body for thirty minutes. Uh, we wanted to join back the class because we hadn't been in such a long time. So we joined that and for a bit. We missed everybody. We love you know what I mean. We love Antonettis. Yeah. Like just vibe. She's just an amazing person, and uh, we love seeing everybody dancing. We yeah. do love seeing everybody dancing and moving. Yeah. So then, on uh, we also did dinner with us on Friday. We did a two-hour dinner, which was a lot of fun. We got to talk to some people. Uh, that was crazy. Yeah. And was. that actually led us to thinking of other things. And yes. We're we'll going we'll we'll to be talking about, talking that, about that soon. Uh, Saturday we did more workshops. So we visited Orleans, Sydney, North Toronto, North the P, and Central, and Edmonton West. We want to apologize to Winnipeg and Rapontigny. We ha we will have to reschedule those because we were asked to join the Oprah show. Exactly on and uh, on, on Saturday. Saturday. Um, and when we were asked to do that, unfortunately, Winnipeg was during the Oprah show. Yeah. But right before, we were not aware that we needed to log into the Oprah show fifth an hour, like almost forty minutes before the show actually yeah. started. No, forty five minutes because yeah. it was at ten fifteen. We had to yeah. log in, but we kept our Rapontigny workshop so we were actually we had two ipads going we had, the, we had sound check going for oprah and at the same time the workshop was watching us like dance and like you know but like, we were silent with them the entire yeah. time and i know we spoke about this yesterday and we felt terrible but we still feel terrible that we weren't able to actually interact with them as much as we did so, so they're rescheduled yes for next weekend next yes yes so both workshops rescheduled for next saturday instead so I did some jigging of a schedule. That's why I don't release ahead of time, so we can fix stuff. So that way we can make those adjustments as yeah. needed. Uh, Oprah was amazing. Uh, being it, the fact that we actually show up on the video, okay, the countdown, and we found out today that there were millions of people, forty million, million people watching on YouTube. So that means like that's just YouTube. That's not even Facebook. It's yeah. everywhere else. That was just YouTube. How incredible and insane is that? That that many people saw us. Yeah. It's kind of daunting yeah. a little bit. Yeah, like it's mind-boggling. Yeah, it's insane. Mind-boggling. It's insane. And the fact that I still can't believe we were... Like, she saw us. Yeah. Like, you, when you saw her angle, we were on her screen, on her computer the entire time. So I mean, that one point says, she saw, saw us. I saw you once. I know. I screamed and I saw you, Paula, saying... That's, it's insane. Are you watching Oprah next weekend? We are going to try to watch her again so next weekend. It, yeah, so we are scheduled to go to workshops right now. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to watch the replay. Uh, we're not... We're not uh, we have not been given the... Um, like we're not I part of the audience they, next they, week. Yeah, they pick different people. I'm yeah. assuming. We we're don't assuming, know how they're doing yeah, this. We're assuming so we're not going to be the ones again to go. We'll most likely give other people the yeah. opportunity to go see them. Like, yeah. don't, tell, don't get us wrong. If, if they, they ask, ask us again. Yeah. again, we wouldn't say no. Oh my God, no. We would definitely go but, again. Um, but we want to make sure that people get the chance yeah, to. Completely, yeah, completely, it's, completely. Yeah. It's an experience of a lifetime. Yeah. And so... Yeah. Um, and we, we said this yesterday, you know... Uh, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. We've we've been associated with Oprah, Oprah twice, twice now. now. Yeah, she's and seen us at least twice. Yeah. The first time because we're in a commercial right after her. So she she's seen she's she's part of the WWE. She's seen the commercial. Yes, so Arlene, must, forty million. So she must have seen us in that commercial. And then yesterday she saw us on her screen. So I'll be right back. The yes, the fighting. cats are fighting like crazy. Uh, you guys, you guys are the. There we go. Oh, Stop. thank you, Bev. Yeah, we're. You know what? It ha If it happens, it happens. Yeah, it's a hap If it happens, it happens. You know, like we, the whole Marilyn Dennis thing at one point, we, people were trying to get us on there, and it never ended up panning out. If it things don't, if things happen, we we're very organic. We don't push things. Like and, it's, and, we, we leave it in your hands. And we don't get upset if nope. it doesn't. Like we just try to keep going because it's not. We're still about having that. fun, so it's... we we are we are having the best life that we possibly can have right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Right, even in. This crazy world that we're, we're living in. Making the best of it as much as possible. That's all we can do, right? That's all we like, can do. why are we going to sit here and and make ourselves feel worse when we don't need to do that? Uh, did you find it so expired? 
inspiring? Yes, we completely found it inspiring. It was completely... The way she spoke was really weird. We have to be honest because it was almost... And we're not... We, we don't follow Oprah everywhere she goes. No. We don't, we've not read her book or anything like that. I'll, we'll be honest. We haven't. But we know of her. We know how she speaks. But when she was saying certain things, it kind of threw us off because we're like, we say that. We said that. Yeah. We said just the, just the exact same way. Yeah, yeah. And it was really weird. Because, it was weird to hear someone say what we say. Yeah, thinking... And I, I, I almost feel, feel like... How did we copy what she says? Yeah, because I don't know. I don't, don't never know yeah. what she says. Like I've never heard her talk before. Yeah. So it's 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 kind of really cool. She's yeah. following you. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be hilarious. That would be funny. So then we had a workshop with Kim and Rosie, mm -hmm. uh, which, which was, was awesome. awesome, fun time, so much fun. It's fun to catch up, and like we said, we love we love just chatting with people. It's it's fun hearing everyone's story and how to see where they're at and. And now that Rosie started her our group today, Danielle, so. you can find the recording on our Facebook group or Facebook page. Just we go posted look, it there, or even go, go to YouTube, YouTube and search for and search uh, it. Yeah, if uh, WW Oprah WW. Oh my goodness! If someone remembers the exact, I know Paula will remember. Yeah, yeah. Um. So then we had a uh, did our dance party last night as well. Had a lot of fun. Today yeah. we did some more workshop visits. So Mississauga South, St. John's East, Guelph, Burlington, Russell, and Thornhill, which is great. Today we had a lot of fun in all of them. It was just we just love doing the workshops, guys. Like we can't, we always love just showing up and having fun and just chatting with just. And it's funny because a lot of people think a lot of the coaches sometimes we've been told us some coaches get scared that we when we visit that they're, like, they're worried that they're not they don't know what to say because they they hear that we're coming they're like oh my god they're coming it's like don't worry we're normal we just interact we'll just. We throw a two cents in, we won't shut up, and we'll just talk, 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 Sometimes talk, Sometimes we feel we talk too much, and we yeah. do apologize. If ever we yeah. do come into your workshop and you feel we talk too much, please let us know. Yeah, just like send us we, a private message. We do don't, we don't want to monopolize the time. Yeah. We don't think that's what, we do not intend to do that yeah. at all when we come in. Yeah. But we do at times notice when there's a quiet workshop, of course we're, we're going to we'll talk. Because like we, 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 we don't want the workshops to be quiet. Workshops yeah. should be people conversing and talking. And it is a little harder in the virtual because people talking over each other can't. And I still wanted to talk about WW Percents because I didn't oh. get to talk about my three words that really oh. um, yeah. struck me with Oprah. And it was, the one word was evolve. And I loved how Oprah told us, and, and I said it earlier yesterday, the world is changing. We are never going to be the same world we used to be. We will be different, but we need to evolve with it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm actually now starting to take this into my, my regular everyday thinking. I cannot think we are going to be exactly like we used to be. We will be close to it, but there's going to be changes that we're going to have to adapt to. And I'm opening myself up to the changes. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't start doing that now, I think it'll be 12 times harder later. It's like creating a routine. If you don't create a routine now, you know, so just giving myself that, okay, be willing and willing to open myself up to whatever they say we need to start doing. Yeah. Next thing is living in the present. Don't live for yesterday. Don't live for tomorrow. Live for right now, today. That really hit me hard. I was like, yeah, why am I worried about tomorrow when today hasn't even finished yet? Why am I not thinking about today? You need to think about the future, yes, but sometimes we think way too far in advance instead of thinking like, how am I controlling what I need to do with myself today? And then my other one was the big burly man. The big burly man who was beautiful. He was very, I never realized how attractive he was, to be honest with you. I didn't, I didn't. He would just, he, there was something about him yesterday that made me even like find him, yes, the rock. Um, when he talked about being tender, it was such a, I don't know, there was something about him and the way he spoke was so eloquent and he was well-spoken and he just was such a, a, a bright light. And, and I, and I know it sounds funny, but I'm so used to seeing him in these movies that are yeah. just over the top action. Yeah. But to see him as a human was such, so amazing. And he, he really hit me, I think the hardest out of everybody. He was the, not what I was expecting from him at all. So that was my whole WW Oprah moment. And it was like, the whole thing was amazing. so enjoyable. So it's I, we could- I was okay with the muscle. It didn't bug me that much. So hon, I'm actually gonna have you work on this. I need, I'll be right back, okay? I just need you to work on this for a second. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, excellent. So what was kind of cool is we got some mail. We haven't gotten mail for like, we haven't gotten mail forever, ever, 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 ever because we haven't been able to go to our P.O. box. But 
we were able to go to our PO box and we got mail. So one of the first things that I want to show everybody, and I think this, I'm going to start off with some cards because this is probably the best place to start because I got a lot of birthday cards and I feel so blessed to have gotten birthday cards by a few of you, which it means the world to me. Um, to even just think people are sending me birthday cards because you want to. Um, it, I, it just, I got one from Matilda. So thank you, Matilda. I appreciate the birthday card and the wishes. And it, I had an amazing birthday, even if I was locked down. Not locked down, but you know, even though if, even if I was isolated at home with my honey. And then Lynn as well, I got a birthday card from Lynn, which was amazing. And then this is a really cute one. This is actually kind of funny. And it's from Heather, from um, Heather and Sean in um, Milton. So it's a cute little card with a bunch of little bow ties on it. And I want to talk about this one because in the card she goes, Hey Jean-Luc, I have a little funny story to tell you. I bought this big card box of cards from Costco. And lo and behold, um, in it, she found one French birthday card. And she's like, when am I ever gonna use this card? And then voila, she was able to send it to me. So I kind of feel honored that I was the one card in the box. So that doesn't, well, actually it doesn't surprise me. I've always been the one to stick out of a box no matter which way you look at it. You can't put me in a box, you can't keep me in a closet. So, and it says, uh, it's cute because it says, j'espère que tu te détendras et que tu relaxeras pendant ta, à ta fête. Which is, I hope you can, you know, sh relax and get get comfortable. But détendra means to, uh, to stretch out, but it's no literal translation, doesn't make sense, so. But thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate the card. And I'm going to say this right away, and I think it's kind of, kind of cute, because Nick also... Um, no, this is a whole... Oh, it's also a birthday card for Nick. It's a little early, but that's okay, because she probably didn't think we were going to get it right away. So she was a smart one who sent it. But we'll re-celebrate the birthday card for Nick for next week, too. Then we also got this beautiful letter from somebody. Um, in Waterloo um, and I'm not gonna read the letter because it was something personal but it was from Jennifer Patton, Patton and it was a beautiful letter um, it was talking about her journey and where she's come and how what we've done to inspire her and when we get these letters um, and Nick turned into a cat he did. I did he I did. did he turned into a little black cat when we get these letters they really mean the world to us yeah. and to, for you guys to it was a surprise today, too, because we, we weren't expecting anything. Yeah. So it was fun to just show up and have these letters there. So thank you so much for all, especially for, again, again my, my early birthday card. And... And then another cool thing that we got from our Charlotte, of, although you guys all know her as Heather as well. This is the other Heather. She got us these water bottles. We didn't pick which one's which. Yes, I picked this one. Of course you did. I knew he would. Why would you even one. ask? You, you should know this. I... They're cool because like a straw in it. Yeah, and, and she keeps... said she loves them because they stay. They keep drinks extremely cold. And once again, we are never asking people to send us gifts. No, no, no. We no, greatly no. appreciate that you Thank guys you. do, but again, it's not something that we we ask of. And I know you guys do it from the kindness of your heart, yes. and we appreciate them. Appreciate it completely. And we will definitely use these because yeah. if they keep ice, and what I like, they lock. And not just that. Like for me, like I'm waiting to use it at work when I go back. To yeah, work, work and the gym. Just in the gym because it's gonna be a great like, gym. Especially when our gym opens up back in yep. the building because we're planning on switching to the gym here. Yippers! And then these are. So Cool. We did groceries today using these. And Stitch and Lindy crocheted us masks. Look at that. Show it up close to the so they can see. So we got some masks now. So. And I love. I'm. I'm wearing mine. Cups. <laughs> yeah, you don't need it now, honey. Like yes, but if I already have it, we already do. Yes. Anyways, um, and then we already showed the peanut butter. No, we didn't touch YouTube. I did not show YouTube. And we bought ourselves a jar of peanut butter today. It was a dollar. It's a Look dollar. at how cute it is. And it's not too much, so if we finish it's the whole jar, jar. We don't feel so bad. I mean, we will be having some. I might make peanut butter cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I want peanut butter cookies. Sorry, guys. We get, we're just like all of you. Sometimes. We have our moments. We have our moments, and right now we saw that peanut butter jar, and both of us are like. And it was a dollar. And you guys know our addiction. We would not have bought. Yeah, yeah. We would not have bought in a regular jar, but when I saw it and it was a tiny dollar one, I'm like, can we have it? Yeah. Say, bud, you're so good. 
You're so cute. So today's topic, yes. tracking. So let's get to today's topic. So we, what comes to mind when you hear the word tracking yes. so, is what we want to ask you guys. Yeah. Right so now. when we think of the word tracking, we think of there's multiple ways to track. So close your 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 food tracker. Go, you know how you track your food, your water intake. But there's also other ways you track. You're tracking your journey. So your weight is part of your tracking your journey. You're seeing how your weight fluctuates. You're tra- for some of you, you're tracking your actual full journey on social media or you're posting pictures on Connect. So that's another way to track. Um, other ways. Paula says she's going to be checking in with us daily to see how much the peanut butter grows. Oh, it'll be gone by tonight. Oh, yeah, we don't think it'll be done. Yeah, it'll be done tonight. I don't know if it'll be done tonight. It'll be done tonight. I guarantee it. Guarantee. 100%. Check. So, um, as far as the tracking goes again, so as he was saying, we're, we, we track so many things. And I think sometimes when we talk about tracking, we do focus, and we will focus about food tracking. Food tracking today. But we want to talk about All other things this. as well. Yeah. It's routine. It's journal. You're tr- this is the thing is I think a lot of times we, we forget that there's so many other things we need to oh, yeah. or you can track Tonight. or you can track. You're tracking your activity. You're tracking your steps. You're tracking everything. It's all about making sure that you're creating this journal that you can always go back to to see how your ops because that makes no sense and that's why we kind of so so some of people like when we do our shows when we do the actual um videos that we do we always do them because um it's a way for us to track we are using our youtube channel our videos our pictures our transformation tuesdays our all our posts is a record for us to show how we are progressing on our journey so for some of you, you guys are doing the same thing. Not as big as we are, but maybe on your own Facebook groups, you're sharing your journey. Yeah. Or on Connect, you're sharing your, your, your journeys. And these are important ways to track. And I think what's important, too, is that you go back and check these yes. again from they, time to you time. Can get, you can get influenced and inspired you can get by yourself. You can inspired by yourself yeah. as far as that goes, yeah. right? Yeah. So don't forget that part of tracking. That yeah. part of tracking is just as important. Yeah. So when it comes to tracking food though, there's so many ways to track food. Yes, um, so like we've talked about in the past, we track a certain way, but we've learned, we learned, learned of various ways on different people's journeys, how they track their own food. So for us, so we'll talk about the way we do it first, just so that we can explain. And that's exactly, because Sue was asking, can you explain what bulk tracking is? Because yes. that's what we call our tracking. Yes. So if you open your phone right now. Yeah, and we can't, we don't have our phone available. We don't have can, our phone. I can use this. Yes, we can use this, so we can actually make sure we're explaining it correctly. So when you open your phone, and you open, this is the US app, so if you click here. But it looks the same. So you, if, I have mine on dark mode, so if you click on the top where it's like when you're trying to add food, some of the options that come up, there's one that says quick add. So if you click the quick add, it actually allows you to put in the name of the food you want and then the points. So our, our bulk tracking is what we do is we combine the entire meal as one entry. So we'll say breakfast zero. So we'll type in breakfast and zero and then track it. And a lot of people are saying in the dinner, we won't say I had quinoa, chicken, all the pieces. We'll just say dinner, four points. And for us, it works for us because we don't like tracking. To us, to track each piece of, of food individually is too long. It takes too much time. So to do it this way, we're being efficient, but we're also still tracking and we're still counting our points. So for, for us, it works because like we said, we've been members for a long time. So this is how it works for us. Um, and for Jana right there, she says she doesn't track zero point foods. We still do. We still put in like, if it, we don't track zero point foods, but we track the meal. So if, it, if breakfast yes. is zero, we'll put breakfast zero because we still want our wellness wins. Like we yeah, we still we're and still. And we know eating. our normal breakfast is chicken, eggs, and fruit. Yeah, so that's how we track. Um, another tip that we use: if you're another person who has a hard time tracking, and that's what someone was saying earlier. I missed her name. I apologize, but someone was saying, "I wish I had a better formula to track," and I was going to have suggest exactly what you were going to suggest right now. Yeah. So the other way of tracking is if you if you don't have the time, take a picture of everything you put in your mouth. Throughout the day, throughout the day, just just if you say, oh, I'm gonna have this donut here, we're gonna take, take a, picture. a picture of it, put it in, and eat it. Uh, oh, I'm having this this bag of chips. Just take a picture. But even if, even if it's just random, just take a picture. We all have cell phones. And if you can take a picture of the chips and take a picture of the, the nutritional, nutritional value. value. Yeah. So then when you get to the end of your day, when you actually have time to sit down and track, you have a picture of everything you ate that day, and then you can actually sit down and take the time to track. 
So that's another way to do it. And so those are the people who enjoy doing it all at once at one time of the day, and you, you like doing it at the end of the day. And if you're someone who struggles with tracking, I would suggest pre-tracking. Pre-tracking for someone who struggles tracking could help you. So the night before you go to bed, you make sure you put your points for the following day into your tracker. Not only does it help you track, but it also allows you to see how many points you have left by a specific time. Mm -hmm. That then allows you to say, oh, wait a minute, I can have either more at lunch, more at breakfast, more at dinner, or boom, I have extra snack points. Yeah. So that's a way of preach. That's a great way to track. So Kelly was asking a question about the bulk tracking. Can you save? Yes. If your breakfast is always the same every day, you can do a quick add and save your breakfast as one item within your menu. So you can reuse it again over and over as again afterward as a zero point entry yeah. or whatever. If you know your, your breakfast is always three points and you have created an entry called breakfast three, you can save it as breakfast three and then reuse it again afterwards. And I love what Tracy here was saying too, is even if she pre-tracks, if she changes her mind on something, she knows how many points she still has there yeah. and can say, oh, well, I can make this for the same amount of points. Yeah, but that's the other one that we didn't yeah. talk about yet with the pre-tracking. I a lot just of talked about pre-tracking. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I was reading. Oh, I was like, he wasn't listening. I was like, you Why? weren't listening? I'm Why? like, I just said it. I just talked about pre-tracking. Yeah, we were talking about that already, so. Yeah, so that's, that's, those are the ways we've learned to track. And the thing we tell everyone is try each iteration. Um, we always tell everyone, like, when you tell people about our way of tracking, people are like, oh, really? Why did you do it that way? And for us, it's, it's, we've tried all versions. We used to track word for word. Diligently. We tracked line, line per line. Line per actually. line at one point. And we did every single version. And we realized that in our lives, that took too much time. And but by we still doing that, track. it made us not want to actually do Track, it. exactly. But it's when so we were able to calculate all the points together and yeah. then put them in as a glow, like as a full number, it totally worked for us. And another thing, too, that worked, that, that, the, another example of that is the blue program. The reason that we succeeded so well when it switched to freestyle, which is now blue, is because we don't like tracking. So things that took time to track, like chicken, when you have to weigh it, and, and yogurt, when you have to measure it, those things always um, made us, t it took too much time, and so we ended up not wanting to track anymore. Because that was removed in blue, it made it easier for us, because we don't like tracking. So if you're on, on a green program and you hate tracking, Maybe you should maybe switch to blue because but, it gives you that perfect. And Heather C here, it says, I feel so lost and out of control if I don't track. I'm obsessed with tracking. And it's funny. We are also obsessed with tracking, but in our way. In our way. We can't, we, we upset, we know we need to track. Yeah. We, we, we will never say anyone they should not track. Yeah. But again, tracking the way that works for you is what's going to help you out in this journey. And not only that, if you're the type of person that likes to go back and reread what you did and what meals you had so yeah. you can relive the same weeks again, because those are the weeks where you saw you either went lower on the scale or blah, 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 you can do that. It's harder for us to do that. So I hope a lot of you guys have been drinking because we've been saying track, track a lot. Track and track a lot. Corn. So, um, yes, Judy, we are still on blue. Yes, we're still on blue, and we love blue, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I love that, Nicole. Nicole says... Uh, I cry my anal need to track with my success. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes your, 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 your own personality forces you to do certain things because that's just the kind that's of person you That's just the are. kind of person you are, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. it is... And, and again, we, I know this week's topic was... Uh, well, last week's topic was all about... Um, drinking water and hydrating. And again, always remember, water is not a magic formula, formula but drinking water it's is important. extremely important. Yeah. So when we- It's part of the overall weight loss, yeah, wellness it's, journey. It's part of it. You need water. It's water that is filler. Yeah. It is that filler. Yeah. And it's that filler that does no harm to you, yeah. only beneficial to you. Yeah, exactly. So treat it that way. Yeah. Making sure you get that water in and tracking your water, if that's going to help you, great. Some tricks we heard this week, putting an elastic band around your mug and every time you finish it, lower one down. So that way you count how many glasses you've had in a day. Yeah. I love that. I thought that was a great trick. And so, yeah, so in a, another one of the trackers that we want to, yeah, so it's still built up. I love that The stand up at your workshop challenge. Just stand at your workshop challenge. So that's awesome. We did see a lot of people do it this week. So thank you for everyone. We're continuing that challenge next week. We're continuing. To, we, we didn't see enough people. So you guys have to spread the word for us until we want to see everyone in Canada stand up. So please spread the word about the stand at your, at your workshop challenge. Create graphics. Take pictures. 
share it. Another actually tracking tip that I could actually give out to you is if you know that your lunches and your breakfast are always a specific point every day, track them all ahead of time. Yeah. That way you never forget. So make that part of your prep day, your prep. Yeah. When you're doing your, your prep for your week, put your make it part of your prep time to put in the meals that are always already pre pre-calculated for you. Yeah. So um, Sue was asking, what's our home workshop? We no longer have one. So our the place that we lost all our ways in Brampton. So Brampton will always be our home. Yeah. Cheryl was our coach. She was the one who was there all those years. Yeah. The members there, like Diane and Debbie, Debbie and, and uh, 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 Susan, Susan and, and Kathy and and uh, Yvonne. Oh my goodness, and, uh, all of them. Like I all of them. Yeah. There's so Jane. many. Jane. Yeah, Jane. Although she, she wasn't part, part of our workshop, part, workshop so. was still. So that was our where we. But now because we've moved, we don't have a, don't have a, location. a location. We travel to different locations every week. That's what our home is. WW. Yeah. Our home is every WW. Every, and we honestly feel felt, have felt welcome in every, every single, single workshop that we've gone to. Yeah. And it means the world to us. You yeah. Know? So right um, now we're we're everywhere. We're just basically you know we go everywhere. We're your home. So another tracking thing I want to talk about, and this is one that we've come up with recently. We've spoken a lot about it at workshops. Tracking your NSVs. Yes. So we think, and I'm throwing this out there to all of you who watch us, I think something that people need to start doing is whenever you have one of those moments where you're like, oh my God, I can run, I can go up these stairs and I couldn't do this before. Every time you, you remember those memories, write them down. Write number one, today is May 22nd, or whatever date it is, what is it today? May 17th, yeah. 2020, I was able to climb up the stairs and not get winded, and I put it on the fridge. Then the next time you have another non-scale victory, grab that paper down, write the date, and then write again your next non-scale victory. Keep this list going on your fridge, and then use this as your inspiration. Use this to, to on those days where the scale isn't moving, use that to help you, you know, get back on that track. And when, you're, when you want that snack, you walk up the fridge, you see that list, it might help you on some, at some moments to just maybe walk away or make a better option. So that's just something I'm throwing out there. I hope you guys will try. This is kind of funny, and it could be a segue right here, Sunny, uh, honey. As Mel Bell says, your workshop is Saturdays at 3 p.m. Not anymore. We have news, we have everybody. News. So that's so we'll finish the tracking. Yeah. So we have news. We are switching things up again, guys. You know how we are. We always change, we things, change things up, up because all the time. We like things to be new and fresh and different, and we don't like things to get stagnant. Stagnant. We yeah. like to bring up new ideas. Yeah. So. I love um, Kelly saying 84 watching and 26 likes. If you haven't done so, please like. Oh, please, thanks, yes, Kelly. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying this. Change is good, Mel. And so, yeah. a new change is first of all, we are no we are going to be discontinuing our Saturday 3 p.m. workshop. Yes, um, and there's a few reasons because as things are reopening everywhere, people are going and out it's more, summer. and it's people summer. People are going to be outside, and, and we don't we wanna, want we, we want to be able to be able to go outside yeah. and enjoy the yes. summer and the outside. Yeah. And yeah. three o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday, really cuts into that unfortunately. Yes. So what we're doing is next week we're going to be working out every day like we already have been. We're doing our lunch walks whenever we can during midday at some point between noon and 1.30. But what we're doing is on Friday this week instead of doing our we're starting something new called workshop roulette. Workshop roulette. So and that's basically our dinner with the WWKs. Yes. But it's now going to become our workshop. Time. Yes. But it's going to be an interactive workshop now where you will be in the Zoom chat room. If you want to have dinner with us, you're more than welcome to. We yeah. will most likely be eating our dinner. But then the workshop topic will then be a conversation amongst everybody in the Zoom chat room. Yes. So next, so this Friday coming up, it'll be our first time doing it. We're going to do it for an hour and a half. Yeah. Some weeks we will bring guests again. So yes. what we were doing at our regular workshops where we had a guest, they'll come in just as well. We'll, interview, we'll make sure that our guests get interviewed for sure, usually first. Yes. And then we'll, and then we'll talk to other people. And then so we'll we're, have it we're, where you guys can actually ask the guest questions, questions live exactly. instead of us having to ask them the questions exactly. for you. Exactly. So we're going to combine both shows together into one. Yeah. And we thought Friday night would be a best night to do it. So that's this Friday. And then this Wednesday, we are starting a new video series called the RWW Kitchen Hacks. Yes. So we're, co we're combining these, we're creating, we've decided to create these very topics that we're going to talk about. The first one up this week is storage. 
So we're gonna show you guys Janet, our- Janet just made a great thing, is there's no workshops on Friday nights. So exactly. that's a great night That's exactly it. why we're doing yeah. it. That's the night that people need the inspiration. It will be 7 p.m. on Friday night. 7 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, Eastern and time. we'll be doing it for an hour and a half. And we might, we thought of maybe at one point doing one hour only, but the first Depending. week we yeah, an hour yeah, and we'll, an see, hour how and we'll, we'll see, see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, Friday at seven. So we'll be doing that this week. But then, so this Wednesday, we'll have our first in our new series called our WWE Kitchen Hacks called Storage. So we'll talk about how we store things in our fridge, our storage containers, things we use to, to, to our trips and tips and tricks about storing all our food in our kitchen. Yep. And then we have so many other ideas for that series. Yeah, I have a bunch of little things that I do in my kitchen that I think might help you guys out. Things that annoy me about certain like compost bags and how to use your freezer and find ways to get the maximum space out of your freezer. Um, cause we now have to live, go from a house to a condo where we yeah. have a, a second freezer and we don't have that anymore. So we'll show you all the things that we do and hopefully you guys can then share yeah. what you do as well on chat and then people can share all these different, yeah. uh, these different tips and tricks across all of WW. So, and we, not only are we going to be doing it as far as kitchen stuff, but we will be, we have other ideas on yeah. hacks. Well, that some, we of the, have. We, some of the ideas we had, I can yeah, actually talk about that. I'll pull up the list. So we, one of the ideas we had was, we have a lot of storage containers, so we will be doing, totally doing. A I'm pulling up the list. Give me a yeah. second. So I'm pulling up the list of the ideas. One of them is about meals. Uh, how we generally how we approach our meals and our hacks for meals. Um, one of them is our prepping. So how we prep and our tips and tricks for prepping. Uh, one of them will be uh, on substitutions. What we use as substitutes in certain recipes and how we substitute certain ingredients out. Another one will be on snacking. Yeah, how we make our snacks, what kind of snacks we go to, what are some hack, hacks, snack hacks that, that we, we have. Make. Yeah, and then we also have our planning and groceries. So we'll be doing another one on that. So we have a whole six weeks of recipe, of recipe, of, of hacks coming. Yeah. And, and we thought this was a good thing right now because everybody's just at home and this is what be so much fun to share what we know. And then hopefully you guys can share what you guys have as chips and tricks as well, and we can have as a whole WW world have all these ideas coming out and just coming out of the woodwork. And also next Saturday, one of our old uh, our old videos are coming back out. So the videos we filmed before the quarantine uh, about you know the new products that we try, our favorite things, we're starting to release those as well now. Again, this, so uh, Tracy asked a great question. Actually, no, these dinners are not on you. We're not on YouTube originally. They will be they now. Will, they will now be on yes. YouTube. We yes. will be going live on YouTube and on Facebook. Yes, we're combining. That's why we're combining both. We're, How, we're, well, will we be doing live on YouTube and Facebook? Yeah, yeah, it'll be both. How will they see the people on? Huh, you just, those zooms yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll still have Zoom. We'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah, we'll they're, it not out. Gonna, they're not going to see people. Yeah. So that's another thing, guys. So uh, the people who are in the ch Zoom chat will not be shown during these conversations. So it's actually all anonymous. Yeah, people all, will not know yeah. if you don't say your name, if you want to disguise your voice, you want to talk like a pirate. Hi, Jean-Luc and Nick, I'm having a problem. You can. I was like Sean Connery a little bit. Yeah, you did. Sean Connery. Right? Yes. <laughs> Hello. No, it doesn't work. What's, what was uh, what was uh, money penny? Mo uh, yeah, he, it's money penny. Money Say, penny. Yeah, because uh, money penny. It's is it money penny? Is it something like that? Is that not the name with the name of his assistant or something like that? But I'm just saying that anybody who joins these workshops won't be shown on screen. You're, only your voice will be heard. So it'll be it'll be very private because you, you nobody will know it's you. Right. It's actually you talking unless you say it's you talking. So we thought it'd be a good idea, and this way people would hear stories this and get inspired. Penny. Get inspired by it. It's almost like a podcast. Yeah, we're treating, like, we're treating it like a podcast almost. But we thought we thought it would be more fun to have interactive instead of just us talking in yeah. the entire time, and then getting to talk to you guys about stuff. And yeah, we, Friday night, and we loved we loved having the interview Monday portion, Friday. but we loved the fact that there's going to be more than just. The three people on and, screen And too. what we said too is we love the fact that now everybody who's coming in, like Rosie and Kim yesterday, could have been part of the whole conversation and they could have been asked questions yeah. from everyone on Zoom. And that's what we want to change uh, change it up and make it more interactive. We, it kind of, Oprah kind of inspired us to the whole well, thing. Well, we kind of realized that's what we were doing with our dinner, but it was not as structured and yeah. we wanted more structure to the dinner. And we're we all on Saturday afternoons the We wanted Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. And next, so next weekend, there's also not going to be a dance party or anything next Saturday night. We were, we want, I wanted a night off, a night off for my birthday. It's so his birthday gift. It's He's my birthday gift. He's going to have a, a night off for his birthday. Yeah. So we're going to do that. And then next Sunday, we'll be back. Uh, we're doing a W Presents next Sunday in French. In French. En français. En français. I don't know. They, they mom do the, the W, 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 au Québec. Québec. Uh, on, Ou au, les Francs-Ontariens peuvent venir 
Je vais mettre une ici, n'importe où dans la À travers du Canada. À travers du Canada. On va euh, présenter notre présentation en français maintenant. Et euh, tout le monde qui parle français peut venir nous voir. Alors, ça, ça va être à. Euh, le 24 de mai, 24 à 3h dimanche. 14h. 15h. À 15h. À 15h. Ouais. Ouais, c'est à 15h ouais. ouais. le 24 dimanche, le 24 de mai. Oui. So, for those of you who are English, we were just saying that in French, that the show is happening in French on. May 24th at 3 p.m. that we are doing a W Presents in French. So if you guys want to watch it and watch us speak French like we just did there, you can watch. And, and then next week, our live show, the word of the week is scale. The scale! That We're dreaded piece of machinery. Le, le scale. Francophone du Nouveau Brunswick. Woohoo! Yes. Yeah, she said. Yeah. <laughs> So yes, we will be doing the scale next week because we know that's a word that's been coming up a lot on our workshops. And for those of you who've been following us to the workshops, you guys know we talk about it a lot. It's something that is no longer ruling our life. So we will talk to you about why it's no longer ruling our life, how we use the scale now in our journey, and why we think it's not the most important thing anymore. So hope you guys will Just watch us next week. Metal. Yeah. So we do have virtual workshops this week. So you guys will notice now this U.S. location is being peppered in all over the place. So on Monday, tomorrow, we are visiting the Villages, Florida. So we were requested in Florida, and it can actually Which be is visit. pretty cool. Yeah, because we're off for work tomorrow, because it's uh, Victoria Day. And, uh, and uh, on Tuesday, we're visiting San Leonard and Nanaimo. On Wednesday, we're visiting Gatineau and Red, Red Deer. Deer. On Thursday, we're going Lower Saxville and Brassard. And on Saturday, we'll be in Pierrefonds, Greenwood, downtown Ottawa, Kingston, uh, uh, Repentigny, Winnipeg, and Regina. And then on Sunday, we'll be in London North, Chateaugay, Boisbriand, and Calgary South. And six of these locations this week, we have never visited ever. So this is the first time we're visiting a lot of these places. Kingston, we've never been to. We've never been to a lot of the Canadian, uh, the, Canadian the Quebec locations. So it'll be fun to be able to visit all, uh, all, all these locations that... Uh, Florida is, I'm posting it tonight, Jane, so tonight I'll be posting all the time. I believe it's 9 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's 9 or 10 a.m. Yeah, so, uh, and so quick reminders, our Facebook group, if you want to join our Facebook group, just look for WDA's Friends, Fans, and Family on uh, Facebook. Our recipes, find it at www.gays.com backslash recipes. You can also send us any mail that you want since we still P.O. Box some. is open now. Yeah. So, you can get into the shoppers. So P.O. Box 91152, Bayview Village, Willowdale, Ontario, M2K 2Y6. And our email address is www.gays at gmail.com. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest or TikTok, just look for WW Gays. And US Connect at the WW Gays. Yes, so we're actually on US Connect, which is still insane. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I, I, yeah, completely cool. The Burlington coach had a saying at the end Don't of the Don't forget to fly. First love, love you. you. Oh, I love that. Yes, our PO box is on our page and it's also on yes. our website. So it's, it's listed all at both locations. So yes, yes, you can find it on both places. And I hope everything's okay. And I saw you had a sad face. In yeah, it. I know. And I saw... it made me go, where did I miss yeah, some comments? Yeah, did say something wrong? And if you missed something, say anything just wrong. ask in the chat now. Ooh, Ann Folger, she's saying Kingston, my town. We can't wait. We've never been to Kingston, so it's very Shannon, exciting. Kingston, Kingston, Kingston. Kingston is such a nice city. We can't wait. Like, we're trying. We and actually, happy birthday, Claudia. Yeah, happy birthday. It's all right. It's the same day as me. The scale. Oh, shit. Okay. Phew. Okay. Oh, we were so worried. Right, I was okay, like, did, I was like, wrong? I was like, did someone say something? Is yeah. she okay? Is she sad? Like, yeah. what's going on? <laughs> So yes, yeah, so we will yeah. be posting all these locations tonight. And the only thing we ask all of you, if you see us post on our page that we're going to your location, please share it to your group, uh, your Facebook group, because we don't know how to find all of them. And we don't know how to find all your coaches. So if it's your coach, tag them in the post. or just, just do. It helps us out a and lot. Please, uh, thank you so much, Anna. That's a, we don't like people being sad. So no, we saw the sad one. That's what I reacted to. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, okay. Yeah. At first I was, like, I was like, oh, wait. We'll I was like, can we scroll up? But yeah. I didn't know how to. And then I'm like, we got to keep going. But I'm going to ask. I had to ask. Um, it's actually, and happy birthday to Claudia. I know it's her birth. I don't know if it's today. No, she says on my same day as me. Oh, the 28th. Yeah, she said it's cool. on the same day as me. Yeah, I asked Nick, when do you want to celebrate your birthday? The weekend before, the weekend after? And he picked the weekend before. And the reason I picked the weekend before is because I think most people will still be home. Things are starting to reopen up. So I'm thinking by the weekend after my birthday, things might be more reopened and people will rather be out. 
And that's another reason why we're slowing down in the dance parties and all that, because we're going to start probably doing more things on our own. Yeah. Want, we want to go for bike rides. We haven't done that yeah. yet. And so we want to start being able to do that. So we need a Saturday day. And we're not that. saying that the Saturday. Oh, no. Like, like, it's like, going to happen again. We're, we're going to do, do dance parties dance again. Dance parties yeah. and stuff like that again. Yeah. Completely do that again. Yeah. Um, Gemini. Yes, Gemini. So, Isn't that Two-Face? It's two faces. I, I am a chameleon. My mom has always said that. So. No, it's, I don't, th actually, I think, I like the word chameleon more than two face. So for my birthday, I'm just having a, a dinner with uh, friends and family. So kind of like what we did for John Luke's birthday. Yeah. And then I, I did ask for a night off. Uh, as much as, as much as being live, it takes a lot of work to prepare everything. And that's why John, I actually said, I, I, I'll, could, could, he always lets me do what I, what I, what I ask him. Now I was like, can we change this? And he's always, yes. Yeah. He's, he's just so awesome. I love him. He just always says yes. <laughs> he just like follows. Like, I don't think he follows, but he just. He, I'm like my dad. My dad is very, has always been the whatever you want. Like, why, why am I going to complain? Why but, am I going to. He has fun with it too, though. I, I, I don't mind doing it. Yeah. Like, if I didn't like it, I would say something because he knows that. And yes, Arlene, I'll be posting that tonight. I'll be posting the, uh, the list of workshops that we are visiting. I'll be posting that right after this live show. I don't know if I'll love him after my haircut, mind you, but I, I'm not? just teasing him. And earlier he made it sound like I would do it on purpose to give him a bad haircut. You, I, why would I do that? Like, don't you trust me? I trust you with my... I'll try to I do my best. My I, fear, I fear that I'll, I'll mess up. That's how I felt, so I, can, I totally know how he feels. Yeah. The haircut will probably be tomorrow. I'll yeah. I'll probably try it tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow. We're filming a lot of videos tomorrow, so we'll... we'll, we'll, uh, we'll that's what and we're doing. Susan's here for you. If you need help, she said she'll help you. She's a hairdresser. She's uh -huh. been dying to cut her hair Zoop. forever. Zoop. Zoop, zoop, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? He's afraid of the zoop. Okay, that's what scared me in the video that I did for him is when he starts telling me to go, oh, you know, you just take the, si the take the, 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 the oh, comb and, and goes, take zoop. the scissors and goes, no, Not take scissors. the scissors. I'm like, hun, there's no such thing as uh, a zoop with a comb and a. Yes, you, I'm yes, saying, but the way you were doing it was not how they do it. I, see, Gwen is Gwen. I see, they all have faith in me. He does not have faith in it's me. It's not that I don't have faith. It's just, you know no what? No faith. I know what I'm doing. You gotta have the faith, the faith, the faith. Baby! Faith. You can, I you can zoom. I have to cut Dennis's hair tomorrow, too. That's too. Zoop. Uh, zoop. 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 Too funny. Zoop. I'll make the. At home, I'll make the He's noise. He's going too. to make the noise yeah. on purpose. Yeah. And it's, it'll be it'll fun. Be fun. Yeah. And like I said, if we don't like it, we'll just shave it. Yeah, we'll just what, shave it. Can, We're not going to have a full jar of peanut butter. Yes, Paula, a full jar of peanut butter. Did you say butter. we are having it? Yes. We're not having a full jar. Of peanut butter. Hi, the peanut butter cookies will take at least half the jar. Yes, and we're not eating the and other half. And I'm going to eat the other half. half. I'm, I'm, I'm not eating that many points today, so it's not like we're eating that much. So we our, our lunch was. Two points? No, zero points. Wear an eye mask. Wear an eye mask. Haircut. My husband kissed my, it was great trust. Yeah, I, I trust him completely. I'm not worried. I'm not and, what, and even if I look silly, who cares? Yeah. What's it gonna do? Yeah. Actually, I kinda hope he does something fun with it. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Shaves me right in the middle. Step away from the peanut butter. No, we actually bought this purposefully. We haven't had peanut butter for months. And we said we were buying this one because of the fact that it's such a small jar that we can, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna get a, a spoon? Oh, we're getting a spoon right now. Oh my now. god, we're having we're some peanut butter. We're doing peanut butter live. We are normal people. Are you, getting, are you having problems with the spoon today? Yeah, because I wanna grab the same size for both of us. Ah. This jar was at our Loblaws, so and it was a dollar, so it was it was on sale. So we're like, you know what? We are we are so worth this. Okay. Paula says I can't watch. And look at this. It's a teaspoon, but not a really well measured teaspoon. Mm. My God, I love peanut butter. And I can't lie, Planters peanut butter is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It actually tastes like Planters peanuts, which is amazing. So I mm -hmm. love Planters peanuts. Mm -hmm. Really, it's hard as hard to talk after you eat peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So it sticks to the roof of your mouth. On that note, mm. I love peanut butter. I already want more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep an eye out on them. Peanut butter commissioner here. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. I hope you have a great night. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And next week's word is scale we said it earlier so we'll see you guys next week no more, more sad faces about that scale lana yeah the scale is not an enemy it's just a tool it's not important and i have you the pbx for yeah well, you can get made oh yeah oh i hope so
Yeah, I'll make sure I make cookies first. Anyways, you guys have a great night. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.